Oscar Firinotto. Welcome to CrimSafe Talking Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the Ford GT 2011 GT3 car. So this car is uh, one of three 2011 GT3s built um, and was this actual car is the last one of its type uh, into, built in 2011. Um, the car was built by Martec um, in Germany, in Wiesbaden, and subsequently taken over by Lambda Performance. This car features a Roush Yates 5 litre V8, producing about 520 odd horsepower. The car weighs in at 1200 kilos, and it is renowned for its low coefficient of drag and high downforce. Um, it has a tubular space frame chassis on an aluminium chassis, which is derived from the original Ford GT. The car's heritage comes from the 1960s Mark I Ford GT that was dominant in Le Mans in the 60s. What you'll notice is it stills maintain its flowing lines and even the doors, if you have a look at the doors, it's maintained the same design to keep within that heritage look. The GT40, the original name came from being 40 inches off the ground. When they produced the Ford GT in 2006, it was actually 43 inches off the ground and that was to suit the current regulations at the time. So even though this is a fantastic car, they still couldn't get it as low as the original 60s Le Mans dominating cars. In the 60s, the Ford GT was renowned for its low centre of gravity, very wide track, and they've maintained that in the build of this new car. It's kept its flowing lines, it has a very uh, efficient rear wing, which gives it an advantage over some cars, which are probably a little bit taller aerodynamically. It's a, sense of, uh, a rear mount engine, so therefore the car is quite responsive, particularly in a high speed circuit. Where you'll see these type of cars go well is, is on a high speed circuit like Phillip Island. The car features an AP brake package with a 380mm front disc rotor and a 355mm diameter rear disc rotor. Like all GT3 cars of the modern era, the Ford GT has ABS and traction control with nine individual settings on, on both dials. This makes the amateur driver, gives him a little bit more of a chance to be competitive against the pro driver. All the cars possess a proper racing pedal box and um, power steering. Most cars today have electric over hydraulic power steering, so it, may, it gives the driver more endurance when it comes to driving the car over long stints. In this particular car, a German-built car has used Australian technology in the Motec Dash. The engine in this car is a Roush Yates 5 litre V8, producing about 520 horsepower. The gearbox is a Hewland six-speed paddle shift gearbox, enabling the driver to downshift with auto blip. What that means is that the throttle blips automatically on the downshift. Overall, it's great to see the modern day Ford GT still keeping the heritage of the dominant Ford GT 40s. Shut the door on scary. With the one and only CrimSafe. Installed by licensed CrimSafe technicians. Partnered with Crime Stoppers. Up to 15 years warranty. If it's not CrimSafe, it's not CrimSafe. Only at licensed dealers. Visit crimsafe.com.au.